all right everyone welcome back to bills done right all right bills done right so what we have here tire section over here out the paneling i took everything out along this side as well uh, this bottom piece is riveted on on the left side right here i'm not going to pry out on it uh to remove it what i'm going to end up doing is uh cleaning up down there i'm gonna paint well prime and sand the floor and uh and paint you know just prime and sand the floor pretty much just to prevent any rust and then i'll end up painting the this bottom panel gray um probably not gonna ever see it anyway but like I said, this the whole that's the whole point and premise behind doing all of this is just painting all these panels out back here instead of brown to gray. Uh, and I'll bring this padding with me, carpet as well, and uh, make another piece for that section on there. Um, so everything is out on the right side. Now I have to go ahead and tackle this side over here. The passenger side so what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna remove these screws along the top portion of this panel and these screws here and here and then there's a screw here and a screw here and then there's a screw there and a screw there so what you're gonna end up having for those or that section right there there's gonna be this bracket right so you got a bracket going in like that on one side wedged in between and then right at the bottom right you know you know so you got this side and you got the bottom over here so you got two screws to take out right there and then the bottom section right here there's other two screws and you got two screws at the bottom over there i'm just going to go ahead and remove start removing all of these screws just tackle that knock it out and uh we should have these pieces out within the next hour or so um as i mentioned before just push your screws back right um they're all for the most part they all go into fiberglass um all going to pretty much fiberglass the other ones that are threaded either go into a bracket <coughs> excuse me go into a bracket or something else but nothing major fairly simple and easy straightforward i unplugged everything for the harness uh unplugged everything for this side over here um, for the lighting and everything else like that and then um so yeah let's go let's just let's knock this out that top black piece of trim Got a ton of little screws in here Gotta get it done. The screws everywhere. Taking off all, taking out all of these. So when I remove the panels, putting all these in the same spot, I know which screws go where. Now, this piece, top piece, remove all the screws. Yes, I did. Get that one in the back. So up like that. Put that padding over there. End up throwing it back to the fiberglass and everything. Just go ahead and set that down. More padding, set that down. Now, you have all of these screws along the top to take out right here. You have these screws to take out right here to get this structure from off, off of, up against the wall. Um, you got those two screws in here. Got the two screws right here and the two screws right there. That whole piece is then gonna come down. So, I 
battery is getting ready to die. So next time around, I'm not able to capture it on this episode. You'll see the, you'll see everything removed from the back. Uh, then I'll start prepping these pieces to start painting, painting them and um, going out and seeing about getting that replacement part for underneath the, underneath the actual, The actual um, bed. That way we don't have to worry about leaks anymore. So I mentioned before, we got two over here and two in the corner. Uh, towards the back in the corner the other side didn't have two screws in there you hear that movement that's that bracket I was telling you about earlier Spot. To get back out the truck and uh, pile these pieces up back in my pickup pickup truck. Again, everything's out on the other side, driver's side along the back, and one more screw. This one's really tight for some odd reason. It's fine. I'm gonna get it out. It just takes time. Gotta be patient. All you have to do is unscrew, I'll loosen up the screws along the top portion of this thing. And it's, it's ready. getting ready to die. My 
battery. Can't die. Nothing can actually lie. That's it. Might have taken off the front, this front piece right here since it's really tight, but if you do that on the other side, you got it out just fine, so just kind of wedge your hand over there, get it, but when we install the back, I'll take the front, this, this front piece right here, I'll take this off, and that way it's not super tight trying to take it off, but that's that. All she wrote. Um, now you have to take out the screws here. So you got screws there. You're gonna have a sc screws along the inside here, and everything along the bottom, and those along the top there. So stay tuned. All right, y'all. So we're back. Bill's done right. Okay. So what we have here. Is the passenger side everything out along the top portion this is the bottom panel that still remains is riveted in right here two rivets right there and there's another three rivets right there i'm gonna drill those out so i can remove that panel as well i'm gonna take the refrigerator out uh and i'm gonna take the the padding all the panels, not even panels, but just the uh, upholstery off of the back wall along with the roof as well. And this light is gonna be replaced with uh, a stainless bezel with uh, three watermelon lights, I believe. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drill out these two rivets over here as well. One at the top, one at the bottom. So I can take that last panel out. I'm gonna clean the floor up. Clean the floor, right? Clean the floor, um, or degrease it, and uh, a light sand and a primer is good to go. And then also, I'm gonna go ahead and find uh, an actual part number for actual part number for this uh, AC condenser back here because I, I know it's leaking that's where the water's coming from um, I'm gonna go ahead and seal all of that up 